Good afternoon, everyone. I am Chandana. On behalf of college, welcome you all to our webinar on high-speed vehicle aerodynamics, organized by Department of Mechanical Engineering, Musiliar College of Engineering, Charangir. Automotive aerodynamics is the study of aerodynamics of road vehicles. The main concerns of automotive aerodynamics are reducing drag, reducing wind noise, and preventing undesired lift forces at high speeds. Aerodynamics plays an important role while designing vehicles. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome our respected resource person, Dr. Mohammad Asadullah Takusa. We heartily welcome you, sir. Now thank you, welcome... thank you. Now let me welcome our HOD, Dr. Asim Hafiz PA, sir, Department of Mechanical Engineering, and our, research... and our respected faculty members to the session. Last but not the least, and I'm welcoming all participants who have joined this session. I hope that you will have some good intuition from this topic, and this will help you to gain some vigorous and igneous facts about the topic. Next, I would like to introduce a billard speaker, Dr. Mohammad Asadullah Taku, has 22 years of experience and has track a record of being a successful teacher and a researcher. He did his PhD in the Department of Mechanical Engineering from International Islamic University, Malaysia. He has worked from the post of lecturer, assistant professor, senior assistant professor, associate professor, and professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering for various colleges or universities. He has also worked as a guest lecturer in International Islamic University, Malaysia. Throughout his teaching career, he taught core mechanical engineering subjects like fluid dynamics, gas dynamics, thermodynamics, etc. He has to his credit two patents and has published more than 22 papers in reputed international journals, out of which 14 are scopus. He practiced various international conferences at all across the globe. He has published one book on high-speed flows and two chapters in advanced aspects of engineering research. His recent, his, his recent research is on high-speed bullet trains, exosystems, and control of base track. Currently, he is working as Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Lord's Institute of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad, Telangana. We are so privileged to have him on this session with as a speaker. On behalf of Musilier College of Engineering, I welcome you, sir. Sir, over to you. Thank you, Mrs. Chandan. Thank you, Mrs. Chandanari. Maybe only one. Ma'am, we can start, or we are waiting for the actually Dr. Azim. Yes. Our principal is John Ryan here, sir. I'm sure. Russell. Sure, sure, sir. Oh, hello. You can start, sir. Hello, doctor. I'll just call Sir, uh, I think, sir, our principal is joined here. Sir Ryan. Hello. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes. Ah, that's right. Carry on. Yes, let, let me just share the screen, sir. Uh, Asul, sir, our principal is joined. Hello, sir. Hello, Abdul Rashid Sahib. Assalamu alaikum. Sir, wa alaikum assalam. Hi, Rita. Ah, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Actually, I am attending as a participant, not as principal. So we all are learners till the end of life. <laughs> yeah. So I am also I presenting this thing. Yeah. yeah, sure, sure. Why not? So I think, uh, Ramshak, you can start. Uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm just sharing this, uh, sharing the slides. Okay, sir. Yes.
सर माय स्लाइड का विजिबल जमशेद सर सर काइंडली काइंडली जस्ट गाइड मी फॉर दैट सर देयर आर दिस थ्री डॉट्स हियर यस सर दैट शेयर द शेयर द स्क्रीन द ऑप्शन शेयर इज नॉट कमिंग सर इन माय लैपटॉप कैन यू लेफ्ट वंस अगेन एंड रीएंडर सर थ्री सर दिस थ्री डॉट्स आई प्रेस्ड and now i am in the white board change layout exit uh, full screen change background is it background sir no sir no uh, three dots are there there will yeah. be an option share the screen ah uh, that's what is not coming yes usually it will it should be there but are you sharing from the same login id excuse me sir are you sharing from the same uh, login Yeah, I'm sharing from the same login. Uh, one minute, sir. Let me let me just. Uh, I think uh, Jamshik can help us out. Jamshik, can we again just? Yeah, there is a there, like there is an option present now. Yes, sir. A, a Windows share your entire screen a tab. So, so but uh, I think the screen is still not there. Sir, three dots are there, and uh, the yeah. option is in in call messages, show captions, share screen. Is there? Uh, share screen is not visible. I don't know why. One minute, I will just try again. And answer one minute. Sir, your uh, option is on Google Chrome. I I think the window op window three dots is you are sharing that one. That's yes. why the the option is not share. Uh, No, I did uh, last week. I did it the same way, but uh, so no, the three dots are there. Sir, at the bottom no. of the those three, not from your window. Oh, uh, there. Oh, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. That one, uh, that mic, uh, mute mic option. Uh, the one hand is there, hand of rising hand. Yes, sir. On the sir. side, there is uh, there is a three S dot. Yeah, the same thing. I'm pressing, sir. Three dots. and uh, in this three dots there is a change layout maybe change layout is there no 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 in call message or share screen show caption report as spam setting there are seven icons are there that you click share screen Sir, uh, there, uh, there is an option on the, the hand, left hand, or uh, raising hand option is there. On the right side, there is. Sir, usually, no. uh, usually one window will come in the screen. And no, uh, sir, is window present now is there in the option on the right of the uh, raise hand option on the right side. Yeah, there is a there present is, with arrow. Yeah, present, present now. present now is there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. After present now, there is three options. Your entire screen, a window, a tab. Your render screen. You press sir, that sir, one. Sir, you can you can select any option, sir. If you are presently no, no, no. I, 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 I got it. Whatever is coming. Now, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I just now got it. I think uh, that entire screen. Uh, there is. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Now, now it's coming. Yes. Now it's visible, sir. Uh, My slides are visible. No, sir, it's not coming. Wait one minute. I'll just. Uh... Yeah, this. Uh, sir, sir, after after sharing the screen, yeah, you, you can open your slide. Then we can see your slide. Yes, sir, but we need to share that slide, no, sir. No, no, no need, sir. You are sharing your entire screen. Whatever will, whatever is coming in your screen will be uh, coming uh, visible to everybody. Now it's visible, sir. No, sir. No. Now you are. Yeah. Now you have not shared the screen. Uh, I only share, sir. One minute. Let me cancel and share it. I'm uh, your. And uh, then there is.
ठीक है ऑप्शन Uh, okay, I saw this. Share. Is it visible, sir? Ah, uh, it's now. It's visible, sir. Oh, thank God. Thank you. So, my dear uh, colleagues, my dear students, the principal, the uh, actually. Sir, please, uh, made it full screen from beginning. Uh, yeah, I will show you. I will make it. Is it my voice is audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's audible. So, my dear colleagues, my dear students. uh the principal the hod the management thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to uh, share the knowledge with each other uh you know i am already nearly 50 years in this world out of that some 23 years i have spent my life from a you know in this field and uh, this uh, vehicles are a very important part in a life and surely i am sure if anybody is not directly link to the uh, because now the mechanical branch has been uh, diluted to production engineering uh, aeronautical engineering aerospace engineering aviation engineering automobile engineering vehicle engineering uh, and material science and so on but when i did my first year in 1993 that time we were having only mechanical engineering if you want to do aerospace engineering you have to go to the mechanical engineering if you want to do production engineering material science engineering we were all in the mechanical engineering but with time a uh, lot of things changed and each specialty became the department but the mother branch remains the mechanical engineering so uh, without wasting time i would like to start uh, with the the uh, with the high speed vehicles so high high speed vehicles can be your cars can be your uh, trains bullet trains your magnif trains your aircrafts your uh, rockets your missiles all these things can be included but we started of course uh, from the olden days with the cowboys running on the horse to the Uh, speedy trains uh, to a uh, speedy cars aircrafts and we were able to achieve the speed of sound that is 1250 kilometers per hour that is what we have achieved and after that sound barrier it was not possible for us to move further it took long time and the uh, history is the witness that we couldn't break the sound barrier how did we reach that sound barrier there is a complete survey on this and we are motivated only with one factor that is the speed i say usually people who who once move with a high speed it is impossible for you people if i say you use the bull cart you will not follow it you will always go for bikes maybe from uh, 80 90 100 120 140 km per hour similarly now we are talking about sound speed which is 1000 nearly 1000 1250 it means nearly 1000 km per hour is it possible for your cars to move at a speed of 1000 km per hour is it possible for your aircraft to move at a speed of 1000 km per hour is it possible for your trains to move at a speed of 1000 km per hour so surely to know all these thing we will uh, go through some basic uh, physics of uh, phenomena we can say how these things are happening 
this is a very important part when we talk about physics when we talk about fluid mechanics gas dynamics your supersonic hypersonic first thing we know is the bernoulli's principle bernoulli's made gave a equation which was not worthy enough to be used in the real world his equation says the flow should be incompressible but in real life we knows the flow is compressible he said the assumption he made the flow should be steady but in real life we know there is unsteady flow and with time it keeps on changing he gave the assumption the flow has to be inviscid viscosity or resistance cannot be there in the flow but we know from one layer to the another layer the flow will always have the viscosity so why have bernoulli's equation when his equation doesn't work but the bernoulli's equation when we little bit modified it we came to know that this equation even the bernoulli's didn't knew the applications it will be applied in how many industries we use it in automobile we use it in the aviation industry aerospace industry we use it in uh, you know from inner space to the outer space but it is not valid but we use it so this is an interesting thing that p plus half rho v square is remains constant that equation just says the conservation of energy that means the pressure increases the velocity has to decrease the velocity increases pressure has to in decrease so whenever the pressure increases the velocity decreases we came to know if any body a bluff body or a streamline body we make something flow over it the point where we are having the minimum cross section will have the highest velocity and the point where we have the highest velocity where will we, there will be the point of lowest pressure that was the finding of bernoulli nothing more than that he said if we have a nozzle everybody knows nozzle what is the objective to increase the velocity so this is the thing he gave us when the velocity increases the pressure doesn't increase the pressure has to decrease remember we are talking about incompressible flow not the real flows which are compressible so he gave this equation and we applied this for some bodies we and one of the body which we have shown you here is known as aerofoil that is a streamline body this aerofoil is used in the turbines you might have seen some uh, reaction turbines very smooth type of blades are there you go to the jet engines you see the blades of the engine very smooth streamline blades you go to the wing of an aircraft you can see again there is a cross section of this wing what we call aerofoil a very smooth aerofoil so that when the flow is over it we have this effect we have a high suction effect over the wing although many people have criticized this bernoulli's equation i don't criticize it i see the benefit we have gained from it so if somebody leads you to a way and that way is the wrong way that is again a research because he was able to find the way was wrong so other people other people further will not go on that wrong way so bernoulli didn't do entire thing wrong but there was some uh, this concept of traveling long distance and short distance and the particle which is flowing from here should reach at the back of this aerofoil at the same time was a wrong phenomena why should they reach at the same time but no doubt when the cross section decreases the velocity increases pressure decreases what we got from this equation what you should remember throughout your life the positive pressure high pressure beneath is very less see the magnitude and the magnitude which is on the top of the low pressure is the negative pressure which is very high so indirectly we got one valid point from bernoulli is that there is a suction over the aerofoil which makes aircraft fly tornadoes hurricanes you can see when you are playing cricket on the ground a small type of vortex will come and go away 
so it takes all the dust with it so what is that that is a depression or that is the suction which is taking it upwards when the hurricanes came you know big building tons and tons of building or cities they all are taken away you see what happens in you know america north america mostly they will come and destroy the full uh, city maybe they are trying to destroy the world this is just a comment uh, but you know nature reacts in a way that they have i we don't not cursing anybody but this is found uh, you know heavily in the north america the tornadoes come the depression comes and takes everything upwards so nature says there is nothing like positive pressure negative pressure is what is valid even for the black hole theory so i will not go to that theory so this negative pressure is important for us that everything is sucked in so we are sucking so now as a uh, scientist sir, yeah the slides are not changing yeah i'm just showing this slide bernolis so i'm not changing the slide okay so yeah, just just i'm trying to explain the bernolis effect here that the suction effect you should remember if anybody ask you why the aircraft flies you should say there is a suction effect on that aircraft from the top if somebody says if a car is moving at a very high speed why it is uh, grounded to the earth you have to say that the lift force is reversed and it is taking it downwards so the lift is upwards and the drag is something which is dragging it back side we'll further talk Uh, the force which is acting uh, depends upon the velocity depends upon the uh, area of cross section and the density you can easily see when you move in your bike or your car just take your hand out of your car make it cross sectional you will see the area when you change the hand from your cross section to the streamline you will see the area affecting your hand when it is directly perpendicular to the flow it tries to move backwards when it change it 90 degree then you will see it moves smoothly similarly the velocity if you increase the speed the force will be affected the density we are moving in one density uh, only air but as the velocity increases the density the compression ratio will increase so this all will affect the lift force and this cl is coefficient of lift which is usually dimensionless and we will talk about uh, this thing further another equation somebody from russia uh, jukovsky and joined by katta from germany gave another concept of lift theory mathematically they said if you remember before we had a uh, rotating cylinder wings so if you have you can do a mini project in your college you can have a cylinder with a rotating you spin it it will fly why it flies when we spin a cylinder you see this upward magnitude omega is going on the right and this velocity are also going on the right the velocity component will gain is very high here but on the downside the streamlines are going on the left to right but omega will be going from right to left so it will subtract it so the velocity component is reduced here velocity is increased here and we know when the velocity is increased there will be depression or suction affect as we know from the bernoullis similarly we know from katta jukovsky theorem that this will that anything in the nature it should have two components one is a uniform flow and the other is each of the particles should rotate so he is mathematically proving it with a real flow so it means if we are following directly bernoullis and the, there is no rotation of the particle then the flow should be like this flow without circulation but we know when there is a sharp edge if you make any liquid whether it is a water or it air it will flow to the end and then go downwards so this is not possible logically and the physical approach is wrong so if we have this circulation then this flow which is flowing will be further taken to the end and then it will be flowing like that so he has validated mathematically his results and gave the relation lift is rho into circulation into the velocity component and the circulation is directly dependent on the omega 
so we are showing you the physics here. This flow with the circulation is again going to cause the lift. So some people criticize this theory also, but I believe this theory again is giving nothing but suction effect. Then Newton came with the theory of lift and Newton said that there is an upstream. What is upstream is what you face and sir, what is, yes, sir. Sir, still we are in the first slide, sir. Is it, is it so? Yes, what that is what sir? I told. Oh, okay. Let me, I, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll just, uh, I'll just share it again. Is it it? Everybody, everybody is in the first slide. Now, now it's changed. Now it's changed. No, sir. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, okay, sir. No problem. I am just uh, going, uh, sir. Now you are in the uh, further slide, sir. We are going further. Are you in the, sir? Your slides are moving. No circulation with circulation slide is there. Now it's sir, changed. Sir, uh, Newton's theory sir, of lift is there. Sir, there is a uh, option from current slide in presentation PPT. Can you please uh, click on from current slide? Yes, sir. I already clicked it. What is sir, now the side, side is no circulation with no circulation. Problem. Okay, sir. Lift theory. Uh, uh, yeah, Newton's theory of lift. Okay. Am I in Newton's lift? Current yeah, slide show. Yeah. Newton's theory of lift. Is, is, okay, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Newton's theory of lift. So uh, I'm going here. And uh, okay, let me see again. The slides are changing. Now you are in Newton's theory of lift, is it? Yes, yes Newton. Sir, right, sir, right. I will cross check it. I'm very sorry. I didn't cross check. Usually, uh, can I interrupt for a moment? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Newton's theory of lift. You please put the slides on slideshow. Newton's theory of lift. Sir, sir. Now, uh, just uh, this. Uh, uh, I'm not a software engineer. Just my uh, request for everybody is there. I will cross check whether the slide Newton's theory of lift is there visible. Yes, yes, yes. Visible. Yes, le let me go, go like that, sir. Okay, okay, sir. So uh, now, now, sir, uh, we are saying Bernoulli's gave a theory, and the end result was suction effect. The Kutta and Zhukovsky gave the theory. The end result was suction effect. Newton also talked about theory in a different way. He criticized Bernoulli. He criticized the, uh, uh, you know, this is also a way for the scientific community. If you don't critique, then you don't go further. Uh, this is how uh, the something you have to say, something wrong was there, and then you have to prove that to the scientific community what you have brought further. But if you see it overall view, everybody has some truth in that. But of course, theories, assumptions, uh, hypotheses are always changing. That is a scientific fact. And uh, we follow that way. So we believe Bernoulli was right, your Jakovsky was right, Kutta was right, and Newton was also right. How? He says, whatever you are facing in the front, we call it upstream. And whatever goes back is your downstream. So in front of the aerofoil, there will be a stream, and then it will be deflected backwards. So according to him, this deflection downwards follows the Newton's third law of motion. This downward air deflection will give upward reaction, which we name as lift. And further, uh, other way, some, uh, this he has explained inflow and outflow. That inflow, when going outflow, will has no other way but to give the resultant lift. You imagine this airfoil in the stream of, we have not shown here streamlines. There are many streamlines going over it. So uh, again, the end effect was the lift force upwards. Uh, Konada effect says there is a small layer attached with any boundary. We call it a boundary layer. You might have studied uh, in your, uh, uh, somebody who has studied the fluid dynamics or in physics also, there is a boundary layer. And that boundary layer is always sticking and is very sticky, is a viscous. Uh, we also call it a viscous effect. When we go further further at high speeds, we will say the viscosity is no more playing the role. But we are talking about nearby viscosity. According to him, this viscosity or the stickiness is what is taking all the streamline and making it stick to the tail. 
and he says because of this there will be a downward momentum of deflection downwards which will give us the upward force or the lift force which is again supporting each other so what i say to you when you usually in your books they are only giving in your textbook uh, fluid mechanics bernoulli's theorem they are not giving you all the other things but because i want you to when you want to go somewhere you will see why different speakers are talking in different language it's not like that i will show in this slide see here we are talking about this aerofoil and this streamline and the circulation theory is saying the flow is going downwards similarly we are talking about the flow down and up which is lifting it upwards so bernoulli's effect the newton effect again the momentum going downward taking it upwards so we say all this theory will have uh, downwards or the pressure or the velocity gradient everybody if we see it mutually you can have a broad idea what they were trying to tell me are we in the next slide sir we are in the next slide now no sir no bernoulli or newton no, or sikorsky okay it doesn't matter we will do one thing uh, every time uh, little uh, this thing sir sir there is a left some custom slide sir, sir uh, i am a uh, custom slide show i am doing every time sir i am in the custom slide show but uh, for some reason now i will do custom slide show again it's going back is no problem Uh, otherwise, I have to show you like this. Is it visible? Yes, yeah, visible, sir. Drag uh, characteristics. Uh, may, maybe the slides won't look that good, but just because I can easily click it manually now. 
see at the end of the day the mechanical system are the most reliable system the software can fail the internet can fail but now i am doing my hand mechanically i am clicking this i am clicking this you can, you will say everything is visible so at the anyway uh, that is just uh, example to you we usually these mechanical engineers you know uh, have uh, two problems which we have to of course rectify we are weak in our uh, software skills and we are weak in our uh, language skills automatically new generation is not like that i suppose in 23 years i have improved a bit but still you know this new uh, things uh, i started with pentium 2 and i have reached to you know uh, something like uh, i7 so that is a so i i am not going now with the big slides i am just showing you in a small this thing if it's visible uh, the the point is you should get the information which i am trying to deliver to you otherwise your slide is not visible and i am talking it becomes monotonous so now you can see different objects just slight change in the sphere to semi sphere to cone to rectangle to diamond to whatever arrow foil we are getting the drag coefficient different so finally we have what we have uh, you know uh, you they will say elliptical things are very good but very difficult to manufacture so there are practical problems but we will be talking we can attain the best aerodynamic body we will not talk about the manufacturing problems now that is totally another topic we are talking about best aerodynamic we can attain it it means from 0.47 we have reached to 0.09 negligible drag because this drag is directly related to your fuel if your speed increases your drag will increase if your drag increases your fuel will consumption increases so our purpose will always remain to reduce it so you see the going rough roads the drag of coefficient here is 0.57 in mercedes a class it is 0.22 you know you have no drag with a highly uh, you know new generation car and then we further just want to show how all this started from 1898 people were having the uh, you know this is uh, you know 100 km per hour in 1898 is a big achievement but people started working and found out uh, soon that this open air should be covered and their drag coefficient has to be evaluated but the speeds were less so drag coefficient was less as the speed increases this drag coefficient will now if you want to run this at a high speed the drag will be very huge so similarly because of this we have to change the shapes so this thing is very clear anything we want whether you want to swim you have to be aerodynamic whether you want your body your bikes your trains the body has to be aerodynamic if the body is not aerodynamic then you cannot uh, have uh, you cannot save your fuel so this all things will be tested in the wind tunnel we have a wind tunnel in the wind tunnel we do the testing using the dimensionless approach it means if my model length is this l and my real car is l1 so i will have l1 divided by l uh, the width of this car divided by this width so it means the prototype and the model we can make dimensionless and uh, when we do experiments on the model then directly the same results we can achieve in the real model the best option is we have reynolds number and everybody of you know we are dealing with two types of forces the inertial force and the viscous force and reynolds numbers will cl clearly tell you if the number students will remember less than 2000 that is only for pipes that is not for the external flows now we are saying about reynolds number for the external flows that critical point is here also there the flow is laminar and suddenly it becomes erratic turbulent what is that critical point how we will find it that is again a number known as reynolds number but when we go at a very very high speed like we said uh, you know speed 1000 km per hour we are talking now about flows which are compressible compressibility is very high that time we will talk about mach number it is again a number it has no units so we call it dimensionless theory which you have studied in the fluid mechanics which is very helpful so we can uh, we don't need to run with the aircraft to test it 
we can do the experiment inside the wind tunnel by making the air flow at a speed of 1000 km per hour and our model is still. This is equal to our aircraft moving at 1000 km per hour and we are observing it from a still end. So uh, now sir, further, uh, sir, this is visible. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, now we are uh, here. We can see in the in the wind tunnel. We have seen the flows, flows over the car, and we can see how we can find this drag coefficient. The old cars with the full engineering also will not give that coefficient unless we uh, understand what is the coefficient of drag. So whenever you go for a car, always ask what is the DC or CD, the drag coefficient. If they say your drag coefficient is very less, go for that car. You will save a lot of fuel. So we are having here the uh, two types of model. This wedge was very effective for the sports car. So we shifted from this round smooth surface to this sharp wedge. And this was tested aerodynamically in the wind tunnel and this gave us less drag coefficient. So this is a wind tunnel. Wind tunnel can be as good as you know your uh, room, your building, you know, uh, uh, this, this you can see the rockets, the aircraft, even the ball. NASA has a very big scientist known as R.C. Mehta. He's an Indian by origin who is working for NASA. You can just Google it, R.C. Mehta Sports. You will see he has uh, worked on these uh, balls when it is tennis, why the dimples are there on the golf ball, why we are having a reverse swing and all these things. So very interesting theories uh, he has come through and throughout his life he has worked in NASA not in rockets and missiles but on the balls. So if you, uh, uh, because it's, all, it's also multi-billionaire industry, you see the football industry, you see the tennis industry, now you see the T20 industry. It is, uh, you know, a very big industry. So uh, now, uh, can you see my Toyota and Mazda? Is this Toyota? Yeah, okay, okay. Please, uh, because I need uh, to know, and now I'm directly going manually. Uh, although I'm not feeling good because uh, on the first I had uh, one presentation only on automobiles in Arshu Engineering College. There it didn't, this problem didn't arise. Maybe uh, I don't know why this thing, sometime it happens. Anyway, it's visible uh, then it's no issues. So you can see this car, uh, the CD coefficient is 0 0.35. You know, Toyota is a brand and uh, Mazda is another brand. These Japanese are very good in it. So when they say they studied the stagnation point where the velocity is zero and the separation, the flow separates why? Because there is a sharp edge. Then there is some unsteadiness. Why we lost the unsteadiness? There is again a separation and then the flow reattaches again. Separation means you lose energy and then you again reattach. It will bring a lo lot of uh, drag and then finally flow separation flow backwards. So this has increased the CD to 0.35. How it came down for Mazda 0.29, the clever approach, the, all the sharp edges were removed. And finally, the backside uh, was made. But the problem with this car will again, because of the smooth end, you will see there will be a lift force, which will cause a lot of accident at high speeds because it will try to lift from back and your uh, this vehicle at high speed will not work effectively. So what they did is, now you can see the velocity gradients. Uh, in our fluid mechanics or in any engineering subject, either you study your temperature gradients or your velocity variations or your pre pressure variations. Accordingly, we will have equipments to measure either the velocity, the temperature, the pressure. Of course, the vibration, the sounds, decibels, everything comes after that. Uh, but the initial, when I, we are talking about fluids, we will here concentrate mostly on the pressure. So you can see the backside of Toyota and Mazda. Here we can see there is a recirculation zone and here also we can see a recirculation zone. So here we are having this one and two suction effect. Indirectly, I will, because we are talking now, there is a suction here and here, there is a suction here and there is some type of recirculation bubble here and there is a some type of recirculation bubble here by including this shape we have removed the 
bubble from here. We have made it smooth, so the drag has reduced, but the recirculation totally cannot be avoided. So there will be some always there. So uh, because of the shortage of time, I need to cover more slides. I will be just leaving you that this is a big area of research behind the cars. All the mechanical engineers are always demanded uh, in this. So finally, I want to show because of this aerodynamic, starting from your you know folding paper model, also we call it, and from the wedge type. You know, Tesla is a big name. Uh, they started with the wedge, although the power is electrical. And then the BMW, you, know, you see the DC, you know, they have, that time I'm saying, this is not the new generation car. This wedge was again improved to further better cars. So it was that time 0.4 with high speed is a good achievement. And then further, we went for, uh, you know, this, you can see the BMW and Toyota uh, Sina is a very famous car. Although it is a, you know, uh, utility car, but you can see the drag coefficient is again 0.3. So, uh, of course, the BMW Formula 1 car now will have a drag coefficient uh, very less. But you can see the backside. This is an inverted aerofoil so that the backside at high speed cannot uh, turn it down. So, this is important here. And uh, this is again a concept for your high speed uh, cars, which was brought by uh, Campbell, is a, a big researcher who talked about inverted flights. And his document of inert, inverted flight was uh, taken and uh, then they started making Formula One car and slowly they had, you know, spoiler means which spoils the air, which makes the airflow uh, a little bit uh, turbulent, the wake, the drag will be there. So it's not that smooth. So in order to do this on the back side, uh, you want uh, the lift downwards or indirectly suction downwards. And on the here also you want a little bit of suction downwards so that the accidents will not cause and this car at high speeds will be rooted to ground. So ex exactly this was done by, uh, so this lift is now uh, the moving downwards. So you can see here in this slide, you can see this aerofoil, I've enlarged it and you can see the lift force downward. So mechanism was made by the engineers. The scientific community gave the uh, simple physics phen uh, phenomena that wherever you put the suction, accordingly you have to make the design. You can think about many turbines, many things, uh, you know, gyroscopes, etc., with the same suction principle. If you go for each and every principle, uh, you know, uh, they confuse you. Uh, but uh, when you go in depth, you cannot avoid them. You have to go. So you can see now the. Uh, the same, whether you use Bernoulli's or Newton, the same uh, effect, the low pressure is down, so it is sucking it downwards. Tires are rooted to the ground and there is a spoiler in order to increase the drag on the top so that the, again the lift is not on the upwards but downwards. Again you can see a nice model here, you can see the front wing and the back wing again giving the same effect here. And you can see some are having slat and flaps so that we can change because we said uh, this area, uh, velocity area is very important here. If more the area, there will be more lift upwards. So we want, we have inverted it. So we want downward lift. So we have increased the curvature, the lift downward will be increased. So this is the, any formula car you see, finally you go and you will see that high speeds had only one problem that at very high speed, the car itself starts flying and a catastrophic accident happens. With this, it was already there in the aircraft. With this, it has uh, been able to uh, make the prototype cars run at a you know, uh, speed more than in a, uh, this Jordan car. I achieved something around uh, 800 kilometers per hour. It's a test model because we don't have a road suitable for it. So there are a lot of things attached with it. Uh, roads and tunnels matter a lot when we do uh, when when we talk about the feasibility of these speeds. Now the rudder, just example, you will say rudder is moving here. No, nothing. If you want your aircraft to move to the right, you will say, uh, you know, I will uh, make the curvature more on this side. So the lift will be 
on uh, this side so my back fin will move that side and the front will move on the left so it means you will put the suction on the left the aircraft move to the left suction on the right suction downward it will roll etc so if your curvature is here it means your suction is on the uh, uh, towards yourself the nose will move towards the right if you similarly do this uh, suction from this aileron uh, downwards then it will uh, left wing will go upwards so it will rotate similarly if you make both these things upward curvature is upward suction is upwards so uh, surely your lift will be downwards the nose will go up this is a simple uh, understanding uh, of this aircraft similarly the concept of uh, flying car is no different again the suction effect works here inverted flight same the suction effect works here now very important because i want to cover these trails a bit uh, like uh, just uh, we we started late so i will request you for 5 minutes so that uh, this is a very important research area also you all know doppler's effect i am not going to explain you here the doppler's effect so we know the sound will travel and a uh, simple example we give if we throw a stone in a still water in a pond the ripples will be created if some music is there from a speaker the ripples which we cannot see but we can feel it similarly when the train is moving at a high speed the sound will be traveled in the form of these type of ripples similarly the aircraft is moving again the same ripples so you are having this speed of sound but imagine your aircraft is already able to achieve 1000 kilometers per hour or 1250 kilometers per hour that means you are moving with the speed of sound this round circle here and your speed of sound are parallel to each other and once it crosses it you are already supersonic speed so uh, here i am not here to explain you what is the difference between subsonic and supersonic i just want to show same doppler effect starting with the doppler effect now it's no more a doppler effect now we will consider the compressibility effect we will also consider that the your aircraft is moving Uh, faster than the speed of sound it means the person who is sitting on the uh, standing on the ground if this effect is here then he will have a shock he can have a heart attack he can have a breakdown he can have many effects because all of a sudden the sound wave is not traveling it is traveling but your aircraft has already achieved it so suddenly when he hear in his ear he will get uh, we call these waves maybe not that harmful to the aircraft but they will affect the external scientific community achieved the barrier which i asked you starting have we achieved the sound barrier yes we were able to break that sound barrier and run further forward but the again a new problem came we call it a sonic boom if you have traveled a lot uh, you know i travel a lot i have traveled lot of countries so i see this you you have uh, you know uh, uh, when you go at a very high speed not only civil aviation uh, uh, you can see some type uh, uh, near the containment area if somebody is leaving some uh, air force you know suddenly you see book something coming into the air this is nothing but they have tried to suppress it with the technology still this does affect uh, and that's why the rule is you cannot fly supersonic aircrafts we had a concord aircraft we have a russian tu 144 both were eliminated from the civil aviation only because of this is not just about your ears it creates lot of noise decibels you know 50 60 70 100 decibels it also creates vibration and directly damages the uh, structure around it so uh, this problem has been in engineering and uh, now they have said in maybe 2025 we will have an aircraft which is already uh, some ad or something where there will be no sonic boom but i am now going to uh, this is another one problem of engineering which people are trying to deal with now i want to deal with another type of because now we have trains and if we see the trains now in the present scenario we can see a velocity and time we can see the japanese uh, started french started Actually, it should be here. Japanese started in 60s. 
but the train was you know below 250 that's why it has not been shown here so let's see for high speeds uh, the uh, uh, when we are talking about mach number 0.3 mach number 0.3 it means all this train the compressibility effect now we cannot consider bernoulli's equation bernoulli's equation is dummy for us when we are talking about uh, mach 0.3 that is we are talking about nearly 300 kilometers per hour and more nobody you are running at a car speed of 300 kilometers per hour so bernoulli is valid for you nobody of you are you know uh, riding bike at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour that is valid we are talking about high speed vehicles above 300 kilometers per hour now we will be talking about another type of equations maybe you have studied in fluid mechanics uh, some type of navier stokes equation and other equations which we are not discussing here here i am just explaining you how the development from 300 till 603 uh, japan has claimed and they say very uh, near future they will they have made one train which could run at a speed of 603 but they face lot of problems in the surrounding already i sh showed you why they faced it because at 603 kilometers per hour your sonic speed the problems which we were having here is 1000 kilometers per hour so a question will arise sir we have not reached 1000 kilometers per hour but why are you saying that this 600 is a problem now i will tell you why it is a problem so we have speeds of train which we can run speed trains at even 1000 kilometers per hour imagine you know busy cities uh, for, uh, you are going to airport 3 hours before some people i know they are going even 4 or 5 years i am very casual i go some 3 hours 2 hours but never miss the flight thank god but it depends fear factor is there you don't want to miss your flight so you have to be there on time so you are going to the outskirts to the airport some uh, 2 to 3 i have been in trivandrum for quite long i know you know your your transportation is very good easily available but you imagine in delhi in hyderabad you want to travel it takes nearly 2 to 3 hours if not more uh, and while you are traveling then again you are landing somewhere maybe delhi again you have to go 6 hours you are wasting but we are saying if you can directly go from your station to directly to the destination door to door service we are giving you with the bullet trains it would be very good from the city inner core of the city you don't need to waste this 6 hours because we can never say we don't want speed remember me abhi aap logo mein bel gaadi mein koi nahi jayega you will always uh, go for higher and higher speed whether it is your internet speed whether it is your your vehicle speed whether it is life you know it is it is uh, fitra it is the philosophy of life so we have achieved 600 but the presently the trains which are running in the real life are just 350 around 350 to 400 400 is you know maximum speed but we never go in maximum speed there is a safety factor the operational speed is nearly 350 so you will have a question why we are going half the speed when we can have a train with this speed so trains are not a problem you can have a cone you can have a parabola you can have a, a ellipse you can have the hybrid of all these things combined together you can have a very good aerodynamic shape the problem arises in the tunnel we have a tunnel train is coming in the entrance the tunnel is very good a narrow tunnel when the train passes through the tunnel at a very high speed uh, 350 kilometers 400 kilometers which is already compressibility is there high huge compression as if a piston entering inside the bore of a cylinder imagine your piston compression stoke you have an intake stoke you suck in the air and after that you have or for the compressors you have a huge compression that compression will increase your charge you imagine a train entering in a tunnel with a huge speed a speed is i'm not talking about you know 100 200 300 i'm talking about we want speed 600 but when it is entering what will happen to this tunnel where will this compression waves go i can have a train with 1000 kilometers per hour now this is affecting from you know stratosphere the aircraft is flying and it is affecting this man here in the earth so imagine if we are having a tunnel which has taken billions of uh, you know the europeans uh, said the roads are congested we will go for the uh, airways they have made domestic air flights like anything you have 
again the air has been congested even the gps cannot solve the problem then they said we will go for the ant plan underneath the earth we will make throughout the europe tunnels beneath the earth and beneath the water and if uh, you have traveled to uk i was there in 1998 from uk to france you are underneath the earth you know wonderful ferry you go from uh, here or you go to uh, you know germany you see the transportation they are having they have all facilities but they all are facing the same problem piston effect this piston effect is a big uh, research area for the phd candidates uh, now this time i am taking for my final year students also some 5% of this project because you can uh, get some go for untech and you and you can give a solution solutions you, you will say sir we can make some students were talking we can make holes about it how you can make a hole there is a 3 kilometers hill over it when you are making a tunnel you are not making a tunnel you know you are making tunnel either under, under the water or you are making tunnel there is a hill top and the soil also you know trivandrum there are some soils which we saw uh, very soft some portion it's a very hard soil you cannot drill the rocks are very hard similarly you know my hometown shimla if i go there you uh, shimla kullu manali there are different type of uh, places hills are there so you pass that hills you or uh, travel all over to uh, you know uh, south india you will see nearly 30 to 40 tunnels for a slow speed trains which are going at 80 km per hour to 100 km per hour they could have made a train which can go over but still everybody knows even for these trains so imagine if the high uh, speed is at 400 500 600 kilometers how you are going to achieve it if this piston effect cannot be solved so you can see the high pressure and then after some time the pressure is relieved because this is a short tunnel here but we know europeans have made a tunnel 50 kilometers how much 50 kilometers imagine you are in now uh, your uh, uh, trivandrum from trivandrum 50 kilometers you will you know you you cover up uh, you know kolam and everything you go to ernakulam or you know you land up in munnar a beautiful place so you imagine we are talking about uh, you know you travel 1000 kilometers in an hour time so you want this speed you will never say no to it this research will not end up here we didn't uh, get afraid of sonic boom we were able to break it and then we gave the solution and the aircraft was flying at a speed of 2000 of course the civil aviation has made no aircraft can fly above 1000 km per hour civil aviation but fighter aircraft they can fly at 1000 2000 10000 your uh, you know re entry vehicles have a mach number of even 20 mach 25 mach 25 km per hour that is the outer space we are not talking here about the outer space because the time was only 1 hour in 1 hour not everything can be covered but remember speed is everywhere fluids is everywhere you have to deal with it unfortunately all civil engineers are working on these train projects and these tunnels it is a mechanical work we people have to come out and say this is a problem of fluid mechanics because when we enter in and the shape of the train is also a curvature then imagine the train is moving at a speed of 400 500 km but the passage is left out will have a flow around sonic boom 1000 km per hour it works like a nozzle these passages and when you are entering and then exiting after the exit this is known as you know uh, the, uh, this expansion can be clearly visible here this is what is happening when you exit the train so entry of the train is a problem it has a high, huge huge compression and when you exit the tunnel you have this type of huge compression wave affecting our surroundings so you think uh, trains they didn't have it china faced this problem and uh, the us were intelligent enough they they don't have a good train project because they want the promote the private vehicles uh, you know big mafia uh, you know the ford and others they are uh, controlling the full uh, this thing so uh, they they have uh, they don't want it so this project didn't work but after so long when they see china japan french europe they are now coming to this train project they were good in space but they could never overtake russia they were good uh, in uh, vehicles they could never overtake the japanese in the automobile industry trains 
again you can say japan is making a train from one end to the other end in no time they want to uh, make it but the problem again rises huge project on these tunnels so uh, uh, I, i would just like uh, to thank everybody um, i have taken more than 5 minutes i th thank the principal sir and the uh, hod and of course uh, a very nice personality uh, mr jamshek he was always in contact and uh, somehow you know uh, not too much i'm still young but i'm still 48 uh, you know the things uh, i'm not uh, you know till 40 you can learn many new things after 40 you need to deliver many things which you learned in life so i keep on learning but sometime maybe i am doing some mistake here uh, in the presentation and that's why you were not able to uh, see the uh, slides accordingly anybody i am open to the question answer session if my uh, principal sir and the hod sir allow it sir yes sir please carry on with the question students please malayalam nahi aata mujhe you can ask in hindi you can ask in uh, english uh, so i told you i belong from you know vindhya himachal yamuna ganga himachal that is a place near the you know haryana and punjab you know, haryana punjab and himachal were once one state so beautiful place there kullu manali like your munnar or maybe a beautiful place uh, but somehow destiny is i am in hyderabad now a nice place also Uh, but i of course everybody miss their hometown and i know you uh, I, i i'm just debating you but ask question nothing uh, fear should not be there any question doesn't matter participants please unmute your mics and ask question or you can type it in the chat box participants can ask questions no it's not a compulsion it's not a compulsion it is all uh, you know if anybody having something he should ask he should not think uh, this question is good or bad and these things should not be like that Yes, sir. Uh, Adim, sir, you can conclude. Uh, principal, sir, can conclude. It's no issue. It, uh, students are little shy. Yes, Shabana is trying to ask. Suraj. Anyway, that is okay. Sir, one question from my part. Yes, sir. Please. Sir, uh, can you tell about the recent research about the? on this topic sir actually uh, of overall what i was trying to talk, take is uh, there is a wave pattern or a complex wave pattern or a complex flow pattern where we are uh, dealing with a compressibility effect this compressibility effect is not only in the aircraft even if i take turbines we want a blade in such a way that the blade should not reach 1000 km per hour once the blade reaches 1000 km per, per hour the problem starts so uh, if, if you are working on turbines you have to have a blade in such a way that from root to it uh, its uh, tip the blade of the turbine should be in such a way that you never reach supersonic speeds because once you are blocked in a area that complex pattern is difficult to understand so we used to uh, try to understand it by two ways one way is your uh, kinematics that is visualization we have schiller images we have shadow graphy from where we try to imagine it and the other way is your dynamics that is your uh, uh, forces we will calculate the pressure the velocity gradients around it and sometimes we also want to see the noise parameters or the vibration and accordingly we will see 
in the confined spaces we have lot of problem with the high speeds i give you an example of turbine it is not only related to trains it is uh, you know i already showed how it can expand from stratosphere you know 10000 kilometers to our earth so imagine how the tunnel is facing the pressure load it is uh, very difficult to imagine so this complex pattern of uh, flow to understand it and then once we understand the physics it is easy to solve it that's why i gave you an example mostly wherever you want to move have a suction effect there you want to fly put suction over your head you want to go down put the suction beneath yourself similarly i am giving you a complex wave pattern inside the confined space is a big area of research uh, sagi from russia are working on it nasa people are working on it and we indians are also working on it thank you sir thank you thank you sir most perfect yes sir uh, principal sir is with us Oh, sir, there is a question from uh, chat box, sir, from Mithun Mohan. How yeah, to okay. prevent water sex in cars? How to? How to prevent water sex in cars? What is this? What is this? Okay, okay. So you see, what is this? Is a nothing but a type of drag, a type of wake. So people have given solutions. Uh, I will give you. A, uh, I will not go to how many types because I have done four projects on this area. but i don't want to give you that feel i want to give you a natural feel you 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 saw a fish kerala people eat fish every day so in the fish there are scales over the body people have worked on the whether it is a whale whether it is any why are these scales over the body now the nasa has proved it what which are, which we are having are not very highly performing because we are having a smooth surface instead of smooth surface if we can manufacture scale surface over uh, the body of this uh, wings then this vertices uh, or the drag problem will be solved so these vertices are nothing but uh, the separation point which makes the flow uh, erratic and leads to separation and leading to turbulent and loss of energy so we don't like vertices we will try to eliminate it the best way of eliminating is have a body like a fish so people try to manufacture it it's difficult at high speed you cannot make a sticker of uh, uh, something and stick it to the aircraft body and then fly it and the maintenance is again a problem so uh, this remains till date even if we know that scales are very good for the aircraft body we cannot find any aircraft with a scaled body is it okay yes further you can anybody can ask sir there is a question yeah please is climate weather affect the aerodynamic uh, you know uh, if uh, it's all uh, everybody knows that when we go up to the atmosphere the pressure decreases and when we go up the temperature decreases but the temperature decreases and after some time there will be again increase of temperature after stratosphere we call it you know uh, there is a pause and then there is an increase and then further if we go there is a the plasma and all those things so you are saying we are talking talking about any flying vehicle whether it is aircraft whether it is your shuttle whether it is uh, something re entering into the atmosphere or going out of the atmosphere see what a change from your sea level to your outer space you are happening we name this uh, as uh, over expanded under expanded correctly expanded if by suppose i give a, a a rocket which is to be launched from trivandrum to space then uh, what will be the atmospheric pressure uh, at the sea level and as you go up the pressure exerted by the plane remains the same but the pressure is dropping outwards so the plumes will try to go outwards and when you go up and up you will see a big plume uh, getting upwards but between this under expansion and over expansion there is one correction or optimum point we get it for just second that we call uh, is known as correct expansion or per 
Everybody want to achieve that. So directly, the atmosphere affects it. That's why when we wanted to land something in the Mars, we are doing dimensionless theory. The Mars atmosphere is very thin, but our uh, you know uh, Earth atmosphere uh, is very uh, huge. So what we are having here might not happen in Mars. So automatically, this atmosphere is affecting us. This atmosphere is consisting of many things. So the what is the pressure acting on your body? It is one atmosphere. Everybody of you face one atmosphere. So you think when you go to the space, what will happen to you? There will be vacuum. So we will blast like a balloon there if we go like this. So we need a special kit, special vehicle when we are going to the outer space. Similarly, when the pressure is very high, sometimes you see when there is a variation of little pressure, you know, little bit of drop, you are a little bit high, you will have something in your ear and uh, you start feeling the uh, effect. And uh, this uh, uh, change in the pressure uh, will affect because we are working with altimeters, which are again linked to the pressure measurements. We are again measuring the out outside atmosphere. The precision and accuracy very much depends upon the, on, upon the outside conditions. But because we are having a very highly sophisticated sensors and uh, computers, we can sense the accuracy and the feedback loop is there. Whatever disturbance is there, that feedback loop will take care and rectify it. So you can now fly an aircraft without a pilot, believe me. All flights from uh, Trivandrum to Delhi can take without pilot. And all flights from uh, Delhi to Trivandrum can come without pilot. This much accuracy we are having now. So as far as technology is so sophisticated, we have, uh, we have, uh, deal, we have dealt with those problems. But of course, it's affecting us. If we don't have that sophisticated technology, then we cannot deal with the old aircraft cannot deal with it. So, but uh, if I know I'm flying in an aircraft and there is no pilot inside, what will happen to me? Blood pressure, high blood pressure, whatever. People will have a lot of other problems. Example is COVID-19 has not affected us that much. How much the fear of COVID-19 has affected? Similarly, that uh, fear is there. That's why in civil aviation, no aircraft is uh, being flown without the pilot. There is a concept of autopilot. Uh, here we are not going to deal with that autopilot. Yes, anybody else? Sir, can you say about SR-71 Blackbird aircraft? Uh, see, I will just say uh, one thing. Uh, this don't ever just today only I said don't go for a brand like Mercedes Benz. Don't go for a brand like BMW. Go for the specification. There were aircraft which was stealth. Stealth means even the radar, if we try to detect it, will not be able to detect it. A very famous Russian scientist gave a mathematical uh, application, but he was not aware that that application will work for the stealth aircraft. And uh, there is a uh, there is a professor, Dr. Balu, in AS College of Engineering, Trivandrum, who is expert on the stealth. So in that aircraft, if uh, usually if something strikes, you know, we are able to capture the uh, reflection. In this stellate, we never get the reflection back. The angle is made in such a way that we are never able to track that vehicle. Uh, this, uh, you know, uh, I'm an expert on the Russian aircraft. And uh, when we are talking about names like Blackbird, you know, Russian has been given uh, some names of the aircraft, which might not be, uh, you might have not have heard about Tupolev. But when I say Topolov, you will say, yes, we have heard in English. So uh, depending on that, I will uh, not directly comment on the Blackbird, but I will just say, go to the specification and see the analysis of drag and lift and see the forces acting and see the kinematics or the flow pattern around that and see the uh, whether the aircraft is uh, equipped with stellar technique or uh, because now the uh, latest from the Russians are they can launch anything from the space to the uh, atmosphere. They have that much uh, highly sophisticated technology. 
so of course uh, that uh, uh, is just for a specific you, you can ask me latest bmw car you you know i, I may, maybe i have not uh, gone through it but specifications and physics try to understand not the brand yes anybody else okay sir uh, ajim sir hello yes sir jamshak sir yes if anything is there we can continue otherwise uh, no further question is there thank you very can, uh, uh, yes a lot of thanks is there sir yeah thanks feedback link is available in the chat box thank you so much sir we are very grateful you took the time out your busy schedule to address our small group i would like to invite aina for the deliverance of word of thanks good evening all i am aina mechanical engineering student on behalf of everyone i take this opportunity to propose the word of thanks to all those who have directly and indirectly contributed to this webinar the high speed vehicle aerodynamics organized by mechanical department of muslier college of engineering chiringir let me first extend our deepest appreciation and gratitude towards the speaker dr mohammad asadullah taqo sir for taking time from his busy schedule and conducting this most valuable and informative session for us we got a clear clarity about the basics of aerodynamics in vehicles and also explains about the drag reduction in aero designs used in those vehicles also the sessions explained about the gradual developments in the automobile industry this was an extremely informative enjoyable and above all valuable session i am sure that his excellent coverage on the topic has been a blessing to many of us a lots of thanks for joining with us today and for investing your valuable time in presenting the session thank you sir on behalf of our entire team i extend my heartfelt gratitude to our principal dr k k abdul rashid sir and our respected hod dr asim hafiz sir i would also like to thank all the faculties of our mechanical department and i also like to thank our coordinators and students of this event without whose support this event won't be possible at last but not the least i thank all the participants present to all this webinar thank you all for your valuable support and time with these words we move to the end of this session once again thank you all stay safe and thanks a lot thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much and thanks to all thank you to the principal the hods the staff and the students and thank you whoever attended the presentation surely again we will interact some day thank you very much